say, or, or when people in general say that you're an extremely bad person, why do you break down? Um, hold on. <laughs> what the fuck? I just got super emotional. Um, uh, I remember when you said it to me on the yep. phone. I think that that's what you're talking about. Okay. Um, yeah, I did get really emotional. Uh, you know what? See, now I'm in a constant state of I have to choose whether or not to be vulnerable or not. Yep. Um, whether or not people uh, weaponize it or whether or not people think I'm putting on a show. Yep. So, this is very frustrating. Um, I spent, my mom is a narcissist. Okay. She's a drug addict and she's a narcissist. Um, and I spent uh, most of my childhood uh, being told that I was the cause of everything bad in her life. I was the reason she didn't go to college. I was the reason she couldn't keep a man. I was the reason why, you know, her second marriage, her, her marriage to my stepdad didn't work out. I was, um, I was all this bad. They sent me away when I was 14 because I was the, I was getting in the way of, my mom had had a second child with my stepdad, my half sister. And uh, then they were like a little family and I was sort of pushed out. Um, and then uh, I'm my dad's uh, Afro Latino, so I my whoa, my whoa, stepdad's whoa. family. Your dad is Afro Latino. Yes. So, yes. So, so you're hold on. My miss are you part black? Not in any meaningful way. No, like he's not. He looked. He's like your skin color. Um, <gasps> whoa, but, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like he's like Moroccan, Whoa. so it's like it's it's like South Europe, North Africa. <laughs> you are farming my jet right now. What is wrong what? with you? Ugh. You said that. Never mind. Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, did I, I, did, I didn't. No, I no, no, I just no. Just keep going. Just keep. Just keep, keep going. I said just that you going. weren't meaningful black on. Yeah, yeah. Black this on is the, the implication is that I'm not meaningfully black. I'm sorry. I meant it's. I meant it's because. I meant it's because he's like <laughs> South South Europe, North Africa, <laughs> which isn't like those people. Like people from Madeira, Portugal, don't usually say that they're like black, but it is technically Afro Latino. You know what I mean? Mm, okay. Yeah. So he's like. Anyway, um, but my stepdad's family is, like, pretty racist. I um, mean, they used to always say, if you're not Dutch, you're not much. Uh, so I was sort of, like, also, because of, like, my bloodline, I felt like the problem as well. Um, and it sort of just, like, was pervasive. And then I was the only, then I was the only white passing uh, person in, like, my inner city school. And then I felt like the problem, and I just sort of always sort of felt like there's, like, evil. I've just always sort of felt evil. Um, so all of this has been pretty hard for me. <laughs> um, okay. I think I try to not be evil. But, um, so yeah, I, d I don't think that's, a, that's a self-esteem thing. I think that's just like a deep fear thing. A deep fear thing. Yeah, like a I, always, I, said, I said this once and everyone's been, like, spamming me with, but, like, um, I, like, I have a fear that my mom is, like, right. Uh, and DGG's so, been spamming me with this on all my social medias. Your mom was right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I probably wouldn't have said that because you're probably going to get a lot more of that now, but... I don't care anymore. I mean, now I'm, like, hardened. After, this has been going on for six months now, so at this point I'm sort of, like, scabbed over. I mean, yeah. just just talking about it, you were like kind of crying there. Because I'm thinking about me. I'm thinking about my internal feelings about myself. Yeah, but okay. Um, all right. So, 
So it seems like me and you have a similar thought process on that as well, because I have a very strong emotional attachment to not being a uh, bad person. Um, but it's more specifically trying my best to not be a bad person. It seems like you have an attachment to not being a bad person or not being an evil person. Like specifically, I, I, I try to make a very specific effort of trying my best to not be a bad person, not actually succeeding. Because there's going to be moments where I fail, and I fuck up, in, in trying my best to be able to uh, avoid that and, and, and better myself to avoid that in the future, I think is necessary. But if you have an attachment to just not being a bad person, I think that can be toxic. Um, I think what's frustrating about this... Uh, and what I can't really convey to you, because yeah, I guess you don't know me that well, and you only sort of know me through this controversy, is that I have tried really hard throughout my life to do the same. Um. But I think, uh, there's been a couple of times that I've really fucked up, and they were public. Um, so... That's hard. <laughs> so, so I feel like the issue, at least for me, and part of the conversation that I had with you, is it doesn't feel like you're trying your best to, to me. I'm not saying you aren't. I don't know what your best looks like. Nobody knows what your best looks like. But typically, when I'm thinking of somebody trying their best, I'm seeing somebody who would try, in my opinion, harder than you. So let me, let me walk... So Go ahead. So to you, I understand what that feels like, and I understand through the lens that you're viewing it. That makes sense, I think, especially because you're, like, friends with Steven, and I, you I, think I, that women who come forward about things, uh, or lie about things, or what you perceive to be a lie about things is really evil. Well, um, I also think that. In fact, I got into a, a big controversy years ago because I went, because I... I, as a feminist, said something really anti-feminist. I was also really anti-Amber Heard, and I was like, women who lie about sexual assault are fucking disgusting. Like, I went really hard, <laughs> which is why all of this is, like, karmic, it feels like. Um, but, uh, so, in my mind, so, when something bad happens, so, in my mind, to be a good person would be to like come forward about when I think something is harmful. The, I think that the discrepancy here is that you don't think with using Stephen as an example, what he's doing is that harmful. Uh... So I have a different perception of, th of I have a different perception of harm. So me trying to be a good person, is me trying to whistleblow or come forward about something. You don't believe that, maybe you don't believe that I believe that he's really done anything wrong. Or maybe you don't, I don't, I don't know what you think. So when, so I went through the process of valuing trying my best to be a good person. Uh, primarily when I, like the, the, in the catalyst of it was a depression that I went through when I was 15 years old. And the first thing that I recognized was that in order to try my best in order to be a good person, or or sorry, to try my best in order to not be a bad person specifically, I'm not trying my best to be a good person, because that shit is cancer, but trying my best to not be a bad person, um, in, in doing that, I need to be able to identify what being a bad person is. Um, and in my opinion, Right, what you have considered, obviously, you, we've already addressed this. What you consider to be bad, I don't consider to be bad, and, and stuff like that. And so when I hear you talk about these things, I don't feel like you're, I, I just don't know where the disconnect exactly is because I feel like there are several things that you are doing that through like simple reflection could be, like, could change your opinion on them. Um, well, it, I think it, I, yeah, I agree. I think that there are some things, um, Uh, like, I know that I'm really retaliatory. I know that when I feel like my feelings hurt, 
I am very quick to react. And I can hold a grudge bad. Why didn't um, you hold a grudge against me? Because I believe that you're being honest with your distaste for me. And so I don't think that... There are people like Zonia who I don't think is being honest. Um, or Chad Logic, who I don't think is being honest. You don't think Chad Logic's think being that, honest? No. But I think that you have a value system in which you really care about, and you really think that I infringed on your, on your on that. So I get it. I think that you are trying your best to live your values. So I don't, I'm not. And I also think that um, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I could be evil. But I also just think that like, if people were close enough to the situation and saw how I've been grappling with these things, like, or how critical I've been of myself, or how um, how self reflective I've been, um, you could you could maybe I could maybe prove to you that I'm not evil, but I think that's just a mom thing. Also, I think it's just me. I think can part I, can of me I... talking to you is proving to my mom I'm not evil. To be honest, mm. but can I can I offer you? Uh... An olive branch that doesn't look like an olive branch? <laughs> On this? Yeah. It's gonna be an insult. Ugh. Okay, I can answer Did it. you... Have you ever thought maybe you're just dumb? <laughs> I think that... I, I'm, I'm actually serious. Maybe you're just not smart. And it's not that you're not... Ev so I... So there's a lot of people who give me shit because I don't... I don't think the brother Hassan is malicious or a grifter. I think he's just unwise. I don't think he's smart. I think that's his problem. I, I um I thought I talked about this in therapy. I think um well my uh, therapist said that I was very tactless. I don't know um, what that means. Huh? I don't know what that means. Tactless. It it means um I'm not thinking two steps ahead. I'm very impulsive, uh, and I lead with emotion. So, like, as you're you're very logical, so I probably you probably think before you speak, and you're probably thinking about the consequences of your actions. Yeah. I like I just don't. For some reason, um, much to my dismay, I am unable to do that in any meaningful way. Do you actually believe that you're physically unable to do so? No. What steps do you think you... Shouldn't you be... Like, shouldn't that be priority number one? Is trying to... It is. Okay, so... Has it gotten better over time? Yeah. I think so. I was a very... Listen, you're seeing me at my best. So, imagine the past... Imagine the years before you knew me. <laughs> Mm. It was not good, but I, uh, I let me let me remind you that my background my background is completely neglected child and then custody of the state, and then I was just on my own. So I'm trying to learn. It's just a little slow, um, which isn't an excuse, and I don't think that that makes me. I think that I should be I should be able to take accountability, and I've tried to take accountability for the things that I think I should take accountability for. Um, but, but yeah, I, um, I don't know if I'm not capable. So I would like to believe that I'm capable. So then let's try the, the next step, which was something I don't, I m might have discussed with you at one point, which is if you don't believe that you're capable of doing some of these things without being retaliatory and saying something out of pocket impulsively, why the fuck are you talking about politics? Why the fuck are you talking about social issues? Why are you engaging with other people that might cause a retaliatory response? Because if we're talking person to person, adult to adult, you are, right? We wouldn't be doing that. We should never be doing that until we have that under control, right? Because 
the way that I look at it, right, is you've done things that you recognize to be pretty harmful, said things that have recognized to be pretty harmful. And if you want to truly try your best to not be a bad person, you just wouldn't talk about this shit until you're ready. Well, I don't necessarily... So I think that this is where the discrepancy is, is that... Um, I also think I'm fairly insightful. So I have my moments, absolutely. Uh, but I also think that I have a lot of insight and I'm very inquisitive. Um, I think that this space uh, is hard for really anyone to master. Um, Give I'm me just one it. second. Sorry, this cat yeah. needs to be let out. 